I like watching a good cartoon just like everyone, but nothing bugs me more than seeing a cartoon animal misrepresented. It ruins the whole thing for me. I'm talking about things that could so easily be done right, and it's a mystery why they weren't done correctly from the beginning. I hope I don't ruin cartoons for you, because I'm here to point out and correct these terrible cartoon animal myths. First up is the old favorite Bugs Bunny. Bugs is a gray hare or rabbit and his character debuted in 1940. He's famous for outsmarting his rivals and confidently chomping on a carrot. The problem is rabbits don't eat carrots in the wild. In fact, they don't really eat root vegetables at all. Instead, they munch on what's above ground, which in the case of a carrot would be the carrot greens. It might not seem like a big deal to make carrot chomping a fun part of Bugs Bunny's character. It's pretty iconic, but there is a problem. Bugs is famous. He's the mascot for Warner Brothers Production Company. He's appeared in more films than any other cartoon character. He's the ninth most portrayed film personality in the world, and he has his own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. This makes him very visible to the public, and if you ask a kid what they know about rabbits, they'll tell you that they have big ears, they can jump, and that they eat carrots. So many people think rabbits eat carrots because of Bugs Bunny, and it has led to pet rabbits getting seriously improper diets. Feeding an abundance of carrots leads to tooth decay and digestive problems causing pain, discomfort, and expensive vet procedures. It was a funny thing for Bugs' character to do at the time, but it's led to not-so-funny consequences. Okay, a more recent cartoon faux pas is from the movie Rio. The main character, Blue, is a beautifully portrayed macaw. He's so well done that I was totally surprised when I saw one major problem. He only has three toes. Macaws, like Joy here, have four toes. See, two on the front and two on the back, also known as zygodactylous feet. All birds in the parrot family, so parrots, parakeets, cockatoos, and macaws, among others, have these specialized feet. The two in the front and the two on the back arrangement allows them to pick up objects and manipulate them with one foot while balancing on the other. They're also expert climbers, using their hooked beaks and strong toes to climb and perch on tree branches. I'm seriously so weirded out by these feet. Why would they cheat blue out of one of his toes? And look, they did it with the other birds too. I just don't get it. Why? All right, what about the one where turtles and tortoises can simply jump out of their shells? This is on the same level as having skeletons jump out of our bodies and dance around. Maybe funny, but just not possible. Like human bones are attached to our muscle and skin, a turtle's bones are too. In fact, their shell is just their dermal layer that's made up of bone and is fused with parts of their skeleton. You can see between the backbone and ribs is sort of filled in with shell bone, and there's no way to separate them. So a a turtle's or tortoise's shell is made of bone that's connected to their skeleton, and then they have this colorful and textured layer on top that's called scutes or scales. These are made of keratin, which is the same material that makes our fingernails and hair. So if you did succeed in separating a turtle from its shell like in the cartoons, you'd pretty much be left with organs and goop. And that's not funny at all. Here's another myth about animals and favorite foods. Mice and cheese. This one isn't as bad as rabbits with carrots, but the idea that mice like cheese best is just wrong. Mice actually prefer foods high in carbohydrates, like seeds, nuts, cereal, and sweets. However, they are opportunistic omnivores, eating anything that resembles food. So they won't say no to eating cheese, it's just not their favorite. How about the idea that bulls are enraged by the color red? I see this all the time in cartoons and books. The thing is, Bulls can't even see the color red. Their eyes only have two cones, so they see various shades of blues, yellows, and grays, but not red. In the gruesome sport bullfighting, the matador carries a cape and tries to get the attention of the bull. The only reason the bull is triggered by it is because there's lots of movement, so the more a matador waves and flaps it about, the more likely the bull will see it as a threat and charge. Bulls are very protective of their herd and will charge at anything they perceive as threatening, like predators stalking around. Most bulls will either ignore ignore or be curious about a person who's standing still. Our last cartoon myth is that porcupines can shoot their quills, which we've already covered. And if you want to learn more about that, we have another animal myths video. Link is in the description. Hint, they can't. Thanks for watching. I hope we've dispelled a few of these persistent myths. And if you're ever part of the decision making crew for a cartoon with animals as characters, please make sure you do your research and, you know, give them all their toes. If you'd like to go on an adventure with us every week, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Animal Wonders Montana. And we'll finish off by watching Hazel being adorable. Thanks, guys.